Now, you untie me. Would you untie me, please? This might be a good time for you and me to have a little chit-chat. Addison, you'd better untie me. No, I don't think right that would be now. a good idea. See, it's not quite over yet. What do you mean it's not quite over? It's all over. I gave the watch to the police. Now Mr. Simon, whoever in the hell he is, will go to the police. They'll give him the watch and it'll all be over. I gave the watch to the police. No, you didn't. What do you mean? You I got didn't... any booze in the house? I did. I know I did. I was right there. Now. I saw me do it. Here, I want you to drink this. David, I gave them. No, as a matter of fact, you gave them the watch my grandmother gave me for graduating high school. Mm -hmm. Switch mm -hmm. watches on you when I grabbed your purse at the police station. I had it. I had it all the time. You maniac! You almost got us killed! Big again, lady. The only thing keeping us alive is the fact that we got the watch and the galloping oh, gourmet doesn't. One it? big case. That's all I need. Deny you said that. Yeah, well, that's you, what I this is all about. I don't want to break the guy. I want to make a skin omelet out of my face. What do you think you would have done to be the boss? Let us you go. You did this so we'd have to work together. Are you nuts? Sure, I wanted you as a partner for your name and your money, not you. You think I want some blonde ball of fluff following me around? Ball around? of fluff? You are calling me a ball of fluff? You? The sissy fighter? What did you call me? Sissy fighter. I wish you could have seen yourself. Did anyone ever teach you how to throw a real punch? Real men don't punch like that. They put their whole bodies into it. You, you, you punch with your wrist. All right, already. Now you listen to me. I don't care what you think. These guys are killers, and they're going to come back here, and we got to get out of here I'm now. I'm not going anywhere. Tonight. You're not going anywhere, period, until I untie you. And I'm not going to do that until I'm sure you are calm and that you understand the situation. Now, are you calm? I'm calm. You don't look very calm. I'm calm and I understand. The muscles in your face look tight. I'm calm. You look like you have a Charlie horse in your cheek. I'm calm. OK. I'm going to take it your word, then. I'm going to untie you now. Ah, Maddie, K, Sarah, Sarah. What will be, will be. Like it or not, it's you and me, kid. That's how you throw a real punch. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to working with you, kid. Hmm. I can do anything if you'll just give me a chance. Unbutton that. Excuse me? Unbutton that button. People with an attitude do a little advertising. <sighs> One more. There you are. There I am, all right. Shake your do. Shake my what? Your hair. Shake your do. Girls with an attitude don't have a do like that. <sighs> Nuns and librarians don't have a do like that. You want to have an attitude? You gotta shake it. Do you have any idea how much this do cost? Shake it. I'm gonna tell Mr. Bruce that you made me do this. Makes all the difference in the world. All right, Henry Higgins, can we go in now? Not quite. Now what are you doing? Don't worry, this will only hurt a second. <laughs> Not a bad attitude at all. All right, now let me see you move. Move? Walk, you know, one foot in front of the other. I can't wait till we have to go to a society party. Will you be in trouble? Let's put a little motion in the ocean, kid. There she was, just a walking down the street, singing, do what did it, did it, down, did it, do. That's what you say. You're going to blow it from its congeniality. She looked good. She looked fine. She looked good. She looked fine. Yeah, she nearly broke my mind. What do we do now? Can you swim? 
Isn't the relevant question, can you fly? You have to learn to be more positive. I'm positive I can't do that. I'm positive we're gonna die. Could be worse. Could be no pool. Could be a pool with no water. You're right. We should be dancing in the streets. We're gonna get to take a swim before we die. Get undressed. Isn't usually a blindfold and a cigarette? Maddie, you're gonna want as little on you as possible when you hit the water. Now get undressed. I don't want to die in my underwear. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was gonna happen. If I had known, we could have shopped. Now get undressed. Me no, 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 no. You're repressed or obsessed or one of those S words. Every time something comes up that involves men or sex or... Hiking, uh, is that the word you're looking see for? See what I mean? That's not normal. I'm supposed to sit here and discuss my mental health with a man who refers to the act of human procreation as boinking? See? See what I mean? Right away. You get all stiff and no, tense. No, no, no. Not right away. Not with everybody. Not with anybody. Just you. you. You make me stiff and tense. I make you stiff and tense because I'm the only person in your life. Huh. What, are you denying it? Are you saying there's someone else in your life? Are you denying the fact that you're not in bed alone every night by 9.30? There are plenty of people in my life, plenty. Name one. I will not. Because you can't, because there is no one, because you're repressed or obsessed or one of those S words. That's why you're not gonna take this case, this great case. I'm not listening to you. Because it makes you crazy to think that anybody out there is boinking when you can't. I can't hear you. Because it makes you crazy that the whole world is out there boinking, the whole world except you. Boink. Shut up. Boink, 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 boink. Boink, 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 boink. Can't you Stop hear me, David? Boink, 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 Get out of my car! Boink, 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 Get out of my car! Help, help! Was it something I said? Elegant button. What are you doing? We'll see how these things work. Why? Because it's there. Isn't that a line from Mountains and Three Minute Miles? I'm going to tell you something. Miracle of miracles. You remember the big blackout in 1965? Whole East Coast blacked out for a night? Well, I never told anybody this, but I caused that. Why aren't I surprised? All the time. The whole time I was growing up, my mom kept telling me, David, turn the lights out in your room. There are children in China who are in the dark. And all the time, the whole time, I never turned them out. There's a rebel in me. I admit it. So one day, I'm over at my friend Jeffrey's house, and I remember thinking, Oh, no. I gotta get home before my mom gets home from work because, dangerous guy that I am, I left the lights on. For no reason. They're just on. Wasting energy. Wasting money. So, I get on my bike, and I'm riding home as fast as I can, right? Because I, I gotta beat my mom home, right? And I, I get home, slam on the coaster brakes, throw the bike down, I look up, and I see the lights are still on. I also see that my mom's still home, so I figure maybe she hasn't noticed yet. So I go into my pocket for the key. I figure I'll go in, sneak in, turn the lights off, and I'll be safe. I go in my pocket, and there is no key. Which means I gotta ring the doorbell, which means my mom has to come answer it, which means she's gonna go by my room, see my lights are on, and realize once again that I cannot possibly be her son. There must have been some mix-up at the hospital. This is a riveting story. Anyway, I press the doorbell, and it goes ding. Is that it? That's the story? Don't you get it? Normally, our doorbell goes ding-dong. This time, it just went ding. I heard it go ding, and I turn around and look, and all the lights on my block go out. I did it. Overloaded the whole system just because I left the lights in my room on. I never told that story to anybody. I wonder why. So, now, whenever I see a button... Press it! Put me out of my misery and press it. My kind of button. All right. Can we leave now? Nice. Firm. Takes me back to my days of San Quentin. Coming. Play a lot me. Uncle Leon! It's me, Davey, little David Addison. I got the batteries to your hearing aid. Gosh, sis, he can't hear to buzz us in, and if he doesn't buzz us in, he'll never be able to hear. I couldn't help overhearing. Is there anything I can do to help? Oh, wow, sis, it's going to be all right. Uncle Leon will be able to play the symphony tomorrow after all. Oh, thank you. Hey, God bless. God bless you. 
And heaven help us all. <laughs>